Rob the plumber here. Get ready to learn on how to get pure silver out of scrap keyboards. I've removed all the screws already. This is not a video about taking apart keyboards. See these plastic milers? You want to tear all three of these out. This is what we're after. On these plastic milers is pure 99%, 99% of the time, silver. Now, you will find this middle miler, it's perfectly clear with no etchings. Get rid of it, it's garbage. The only ones we are interested in is the front and back etched milers. Now, from this distance, you can see the silver etch etchings on both sides. These two milers line up, and with the clear miler in the middle, make connections every time you press a key. Well, every connection is just pure silver. I love it. And this is probably one of my favorite items to scrap. I don't know, I'm just amazed and intrigued by silver. The first time you tear one apart, you will see it is art. I sure hope you're watching this in HD. It took me a while to get these pictures with my macro lens. Um, the darker color is silver. The bright color, as you can see in the real close-up macro shot, the bright white silvery frosting. So what do we have left? We have a couple thin wires and a medium grade board. If this was a normal keyboard, I would cut the wires, throw it into my wire bin. This one here, I will retrieve the medium grade board. It is worth keeping. Now on this medium grade board, the little tabs you see where the receivers for the mylars, those will be silver. And that little flat pack there, golden palladium. This nylon rubbery thing that the keys were under, throw it away. It's no good. Now put the cap back on the keyboard. Make sure you have it secure so you can flip it back around to make sure that you did not lose all the keys. They are a pain in the ass to clean up. Now when it comes to extracting the silver off the mylar there is a couple different ways. Most involve chemicals. Now I am all for this way if you do it safely. I will leave a link in the description below on where to find out exactly on how to do it as safe as possible. My way is going to be through incineration. The incinerator and scrubbers are nearly built. Can't wait. Thanks for watching and I'm really looking forward to making another video for you. When the pneumonia is gone, please, please rate and subscribe. See you on the next one.